YouTube, got a gameplay for you here in this new Super Bowl event, showing off my new 3-4 odd defense. If you guys want to get my full 3-4 odd defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. Just dropped it today and uh, really like this defense. I feel like this defense is just a better... Uh, it really does a good job because it lets you run multiple defensive playbook. And so because you're in multiple defensive playbook, you have the best dollar. Um, like it, it gives you the most amount of options in terms of the dollar defense. And then it also has just a really good a gap blitz if you know what you're doing. And then the cool part is they can't really run the ball. So you take the ability. It's just really good for getting wins against players that are running off meta formations. I really like it against off meta. It's kind of my standard defense right now against any kind of off meta uh, look. So super, super enjoying this defense right now. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, it just, it just plays uh, really well against just kind of standard off meta stuff. You have really good alignment out of three, four odd for a lot of the, a lot of the compression sets too. So like, it's not terrible against the meta. It's actually pretty good against that. Like he's going to go to five wide here. So this is a little bit like, um, you know, a little bit of a thing here. But you can you can get really nice pressure, and then you can also play pretty good coverage. I don't know. I might get burned over the top here. Of course I did. I don't know how I just got burned over the top. I must have got bumped. But anyways, uh, what would you guys think of the Super Bowl? Super Bowl was yesterday. Chiefs, Mahomes pretty much cemented himself as the best quarterback, at least of this generation and uh, potentially all time. So super uh, impressed with what he was able to do. Really was impressed with the Chiefs uh, all in all. Like, I feel like their team, especially offensively, was terrible this year. Uh, and they just kind of found a way. And they really proved uh, it, it, this was the most their team looked like, looked like those Patriots legacy teams uh, of old. So anyway, but I like 3-4 odd. I think 3-4 odd, just the alignment of this is really, 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 really good. Um, yep, this off meta defense get a lot of questions about hey, Cody, when are you gonna drop an off meta scheme? This is an off meta defense for you guys. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny when people talk about off meta because oftentimes an off a true off meta scheme is actually just a different version of a meta scheme because what works in Madden 24 is what works in Madden 24, but a lot of people, um, they don't quite understand that. And I really think it's important. The more I play this game, I used to love trying to, I don't know, I used to really be into the whole off meta um, type type stuff. And now I'm just not. I'm just I'm just like, it's really not. Uh, there's a reason the meta is the meta. Now, 3-4 odd, the cool part about this defense is it actually does something very specific that does give you a quantifiable advantage, which we explain in the ebook. But I think it's actually better, uh, but it, it, it's... It's good run defense. I don't know that it's better than 6-1. I think it's at least comparable to 6-1. I actually think, I don't know, I'm still, jury's out, but I think it could be better than 6-1 from a run defense perspective. Now, I've been getting a lot of people running man-to-man -man on me today. So, And the other thing that's weird about this little Super Bowl event is why am I always, like, like I have not gotten the ball. You've seen the whole game. But somehow I'm 6-6. Six of six. <laughs> I don't understand that either. Like, I'm 1-1, one of one, but now I'm 6-6. Six of six. It's just weird to me. This play, this little setup right here, a lot of people aren't doing this out of Durham right now, but actually, or a dagger. But this is really good for man um, because that just isolates that running back. See, I've just been getting screamed at all day on this Super Bowl event. This is kind of blowing my mind how much I've been getting screamed at today. Just off the most basic, like, five man rush I've ever seen. Look at this, or the four man rush. I guess I got user rushed, whatever. I don't know. I don't get it. All right, let's go to Durham. So offense, I want to talk a little bit about offense. I've been doing some different stuff um, from like a pre-snap read perspective that I wanted to talk about. And I watched a video by Kurt Warner. If you guys are not subscribed to Kurt Warner's uh, Quarterback Confidential, it's really a good channel. I think Kurt Warner is an underrated coach, underrated thinker in the mad or in, in the real NFL. And uh, he really did. Man, dude, I don't understand that. Who the heck is 52? That's, is that Creed Humphrey? That's got to be Creed Humphrey on my team. Let me try to pick up this first down. I'm not in a great combo for this. Let's, um, you know what? We'll call a timeout. So I was watching this video by Kurt Warner, and he was talking about the difference between uh, pure progression reads and what he would call defender reads. So 
and again, I've been trying to figure out how can I get better at reading the defense. I feel like the biggest skill you've got to master on offense, in my opinion, is 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 reading the defense. If you can read the defense at a high level, you can uh, put yourself in a really good position. So that's what I've always wanted to or strive to do. Look at short corner out there just being a bot or dominating. So how do you read the how do you read the defense at a high level? I think it's I think it's super hard. I think I think it's probably the hardest thing to teach. I don't think people really if you actually talk to somebody and you say, Hey, how do you read the defense? They're not gonna they're gonna a lot of pro players in Madden 24, they're gonna say, I don't really read the defense, I just call good plays. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> like a lot of pro players will say that, and it's because I just don't think people know how to articulate what they're doing. Because in Madden, you do have a you do have a little bit of an advantage over the real NFL because you can see, like you can see everything on the field at the same time. Like you can see, uh, you know, your peripheral vision here. So, but in general, you still have to kind of like, at least the way my brain works, you have to have like progressions. You have to have, you have to have like. Um, I'm trying to think of what the word I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm looking for here. This is gonna wait take way too long. I'm gonna have to snap this. Uh, I'm gonna throw it away. I should have just thrown. I should have just spiked the ball. We'll just settle for. Eh, I don't want to take three. I'm gonna go for this, just for fun. But you have to have progressions when you're talking about reading a defense. You do. You have to. It, it, there's no way around it. You have to have like a systematic progressional approach to your reads. If not, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to throw a lot of interceptions, especially in Madden. Okay. So what I've been doing, can I throw this back corner? I'll just take my three. All right. I'll take my three. He's going to play cover two over there. It's not going to be open. And I don't really, uh, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to really <laughs> run anything other than that combo. I'll talk about that combo. That's one of my favorite combos in the red zone. But pre-snap reads, post-snap reads. So basically what you want to do is you want to have a play. So that every play that you call has to have a purpose. And I think one of the things Kurt Warner talked about in this progression read video, and really what he talks about in general just says, see, okay, here's another thing that I don't understand. This is I just don't understand this Super Bowl mode at all. I literally think it's the most glitchiest, randomest mode I've ever played. And I kind of just want to go back to just playing head-to-head -head seasons but somebody told me that I need to play this Super Bowl mode to get these tokens or whatever. I'm mutt, completely mutt illiterate. But anyways, I don't know. I hate this Super Bowl mode. I like the games are shorter. But, like, I kicked the ball off. <laughs> and somehow, here we are, and he, he gets the ball. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Like, now he gets a, he gets a, a possession because he lost the first half. Like if I was if I was playing this game, I would try to hold someone to three. If I but I still don't understand it. I thought at first it was like if you were losing, you got the ball at half. But I actually don't think that's true anymore. So I have no idea how they choose who gets the ball at halftime, and it really is kind of been it's kind of getting old. So Kurt Warner was talking about like progression reads, and he was also talking about plays. One of the things he had. Um, a really, really good question on, and, and he kind of used it to pick a, a specific point. And the question was basically, you have to start to think through why you are calling what you are calling. What are your, what is your primary objective or your primary purpose in calling the route combo that you're putting on the field? Who's the primary receiver? So who, where are you trying to go with the ball? Like there's a reason for every play call. There's a purpose for every play call. There's a defense of the, so, so where are you trying to go with the ball? That's a, that's kind of the, the first question, right? Now, the next question that we have to wrestle with as we look at pre-snap reads is where is the stress on the defense? So where is the primary stress actually occurring? So for example, if we take the play double corner, the primary route combo is the double corner, right? It's the main route on the play. It's the reason you call the play. So I'll give you an example here. So I'm going to run double corner to the left. Now, who is the defender in which we are putting the primary stress on? Well, it's really the outside corner because they're pressed up. If they were backed off, it would be the slot corner. But it's this outside corner. So you see here, now in this example here, we get man coverage. I get a terrible. The bumping in Madden 24 has got to stop. I hate this bumping stuff. But anyways, the primary stress is either is really on that left side of the field to the corner. 
Now, if they play really good defense on that right side, we have a hot read. And this is another thing Warner. I got to actually go back and rewatch his video on this. This drag is kind of a hot read, though. Like, if that linebacker comes up the A-gap, which normally never going to do that, but if we get blitzed up the middle, I've got these couple hot reads, like right here. See, he doesn't cover that. I could throw that right off the right off the rip. So, a good play call in Madden has multiple options, attacks a lot of space on the field, but there is always a primary option, and that primary option is typically stressing both a particular space on the field and often a particular defender. So what you want to do to simplify your reads is you want to figure out how can I read that defender quickly so that I can identify, and this is something you can actually do in Madden. I'll explain why it's really helpful in Madden in a second. How I can actually get a, get to this. How can I, so like right here, I'm looking at the left side. I'm looking at this corner. Oh my gosh. you got Dude, and the other thing, like the playcock, just make it 40 seconds. Like, I don't know. Matt, Madden just, the, the, this accelerated clock stuff has driven me nuts for years. Like now when we come out, I actually have 25 seconds. So I could actually say something, but anyways. So right here, where's the, who's the primary defender that I'm going to stress? How can they cover this play? That's another really important question. Really, the only way they can cover this play is they can user it or they can put that corner on the left in a cloud. So if I'm looking at the corner, if he does not in a cloud flat as he's not right there, then I know I want to try to push this and I want to try to put the ball in his hands. Now, in that situation, he did end up going with a man coverage. So that's a little different. Man coverage is just different than zone. Um, it's you, you can still beat man coverage with your zone beaters. Uh, but anyway, that's a, that's a key option. Now, let's take that principle and let's apply this to the air raid. I want to read grass, not defenders. Well, what I want to do is I want to look at the space that I'm trying to attack. So right here, really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that corner first, then I'm looking at the post. So here, he now is backed off, so I get a little bit better of an alignment. We're actually able to throw the ball wide open. Can't catch it because the game is driving me insane today. <laughs> I have not had a good day on the John. I have not had a good day on the John. Maybe it's a good day to uh, update some eBooks or something. <laughs> I have not had a good time on the John today. All right. So because he's running so much man coverage and he's actually driving me insane, uh, we are going to run <laughs> a man coverage route combination, which is basically this right here. Okay. So the main thing I'm looking for is this tight end. Of course, I say that he goes to zone, but you see, tight end, boom. I think that was man. I don't know. So what I looked, for, what you want to do is you want to quickly identify is my main concept available, right? If not, you've got to get to your other, your other progressions. In Madden, like I said, you do have a little bit of an advantage because the way the game is played, you can. Um, like you can see, you can, you can see more, more space quicker than you can in other games. But like right here, I'm looking at the left side. If that corner's in a cloud, it's, it's dead. I got to get back to the tight end. So here, look to the left side. Okay. He's manned up again. So we're just going to try to pass lead this down. And that is one of the most underrated routes in the game is the pass lead or free form down hitches against man. If it's not uh, shaded underneath, then, then that will be. Uh, a really good route for you. So anyway, um, the cool part about the way Kurt Warner teaches reads, and again, you have to go watch his channel. The, it's like a 35-minute video where he actually explains it. But what it does and what Kurt Warner was good at, um, I'd say what made Kurt Warner super, super good as a quarterback, what was unique about him is he he could re, he could he could um, he could make decisions faster than most quarterbacks. And it's actually probably maybe maybe any quarterback because of his background. Kurt Warner was a arena football player. The way the game was played, it was the field was shorter. You had to make those decisions quicker. There wasn't as much space. And they it was just it was. And if you didn't make those decisions quick, like the game was in general in arena football, the game is generally just sped up. Right. So Kurt Warner came to the NFL and he brought those principles that he learned in arena football, which was the if this, then that, the quick decision-making that he was able to get and gather. And so 
if there's one thing that he can really speak to, in my opinion, um, as a coach, it would be how to dissect quickly, quickly and efficiently a defense, which is a, is the biggest skill in my opinion in Madden. Cause there's two parts and I talked, I've talked about this before. There is skill and then there is knowledge. There's skill and then there is knowledge, right? So in order for something to, or in order for you to get better at this game, then you need to have knowledge. You need to know what's gonna, what are good route combos, what are good coverage shells, all those things. But in order to perfect that knowledge, you need to apply it with the 20%, which is the skill, which is making the right read offensively. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, be sure to check out the ebooks in the Patreon.